Hello everyone. Namaste from Joy of Reading. Today's story is Hide and Seek. The author is Alicia Berger. Illustrator is Hume Wu Thuong. And the publisher is Room to Read. Hide and Seek. It's a game that all of us must have played. So in this game, there are some people who go behind and hide. And there is one person who closes their eyes, counts, and then goes to find all these people hiding. So here you can see there are a bunch of animals hiding. And there is this one rhino who is trying to, you know, going to be the one that finds them or seeks them. Rhino is very shy. She only plays by herself around the lake. Gecko decides to play a trick on her. He asks all the other animals to join him. So this is the rhino who is very shy or who is timid, kind of scared to go talk to others or even mingle with others or play with others. So she's always playing by herself, um, sitting around this lake. So the gecko, it's like a lizard-like animal, wants to play some game or trick on her. So he asks all these animals also to come join him. Rhino, gecko calls. Do you want to play hide and seek with us? We will decide who hides first with rock, paper, scissors. So gecko goes and calls the rhino and says, hey, come and play hide and seek with us, right? And then he says, we can decide who all will go hide by playing rock, paper, scissors. So what is this? So in this rock, paper, scissors, there are a lot of people standing and then they will show one of these, either the rock or the paper or the scissors. So a paper wins over a rock, a rock, wins over a scissors and the scissors wins over paper. So that's the game. Let's see what they do. The other animals know that rhino can only make paper with her big feet. So they all make scissors on purpose. Rhino will have to be the seeker. So Rhino has very big feet, so she can make only paper. So if all the others decide to be scissors, then they can all cut through the paper and win over, right? So here you can see the Rhino is making paper with her big feet. All of them are holding scissors like this, see here? So you can see their fingers or claws or hands, whatever it is, right? They're all making scissors. So scissors wins over paper. So the rhino is the one who has to count and seek them or find them so that the others will all go and hide. The animals start looking for places to hide. They ask each other, where should we hide so rhino can't find us? So they're all going to different places to hide so that the rhino cannot find them. Rhino starts counting, five, 10, 15. When she's done counting to 100, she opens her eyes. Where is everyone? She wonders, how will I find them now? So she does her counting up till 100 and then opens her eyes and she can't see anyone around. Monkey had climbed on top of a tree. Rhino is overjoyed. Monkey, you have a long tail, she calls. I can see it clearly. Squirrel had hidden in the tree's trunk. Rhino smiles. Squirrel, I can see your fluffy tail. So monkey is on top of a tree, but the rhino sees her long tail and says, hey, I have found you. And similarly, rhino also finds the squirrel because of the squirrel's 
fluffy or bushy tail. She is in the tree's trunk. So here in the tree, there's a hole and she's sitting there. Rabbit is hiding nervously inside a cave. Outside, Hedgehog had covered herself with flowers. Rhino finds them immediately. Hedgehog and Rabbit, how could you both hide in such obvious places? Rhino giggles. So, Rabbit is nervous. Mm. So, with her, the Rhino will find. So, and of course, the Rhino finds where the Rabbit is. And the hedgehog, or we can even call it as a porcupine, it has these sticky needles outside it, right? That animal is just covering itself with flowers and the rhino easily finds the hedgehog and says, Hey, how do you think I won't find you if you're hiding in such places that are clearly seen? Obvious here means clearly visible. And hence he says, it is obvious. Snail is slowly crawling under a leaf. So here is the snail. So the snail is crawling under a leaf slowly. The snail is very slow, right? Parrot hides confidently on a tree branch, but his feathers are so bright that finding him is easy. Rhino has found half of the animals. So Parrot is confident, you know, on a tree branch, it's sitting there. But the rhino still finds it because it has beautiful, bright colored feathers. And so the rhino finds the snail. So by now, rhino has found at least half of the animals. Silly deer hides among the leafless trees. Giant bear tries to hide behind the rocks. Rhino laughs out loud. <laughs> I can see where you both are hiding. So, silly deer. Why is the deer silly? Because there is no leaf in the tree. And how can you hide uh, behind the tree? So, here is the deer. You can see the deer so clearly. And so, this big bear is hiding behind rocks that are so small. So, the rhino is loudly ha ha because she is finding all of them so easily turtle hides in her shell pretending to be a rock frog hides among a group of bushes across from her but rhino sees them both so here is the turtle it has this hard shell right so it hides underneath that thinking that the rhino might think it to be a rock. But no, the rhino finds the turtle as well, pretending is to be something that you're not. And the frog is just hiding, you know, amongst these bushes here. But rhino finds the frog as well. Finally, only gecko remains. Rhino cannot find him anywhere. The other animals tease. You will have to look really hard now. So the rhino has found out the hiding places of all these animals, but still she has not found where the gecko is. So they all tease her saying, hey, you got to look hard now. And look at the rhino. Mm, it's like that. Soon, Rhino has searched for Gecko everywhere. Soon, her feet have worn out. So the Rhino has searched everywhere for the Gecko. And then her feet becomes tired. It's paining now because of walking here, there, everywhere. Rhino sits down, trying not to cry. The other animals start to feel badly. Do you need a hint? They ask. No, I don't need anyone's help. Gecko might be good at hiding, but I will find him soon. So the rhino is very sad. So the other animals are now feeling bad and they ask, 
Do you want a clue? Do you want a hint? Do we need to give you some idea? But Rhino says, no, the gecko is good uh, at hiding, but I can good. I am good as well. I will find him soon. At last, Rhino bows down her head and stares into the lake. Suddenly, she cries out, Gecko, I found you. Gecko grins. I hid right on top of your horn. Pretty genius, right? So the rhino then bows down her head and looks into the lake like this. And suddenly she says, Gecko, I found you because the gecko was hiding on top of her horn. Isn't it a clever idea? Genius means a pretty intelligent person. Rhino laughs. She no longer feels shy. Now it's my turn to hide and all of you have to find me. I already know where I'll hide. So the rhino now feels part of them. You no, know, she has lost her shyness. So she now says, now it's my turn to hide and you all have to find me. And she knows where she is going to hide as well. So isn't that a great way of bringing a friend who is very shy, who doesn't know how to talk to others into a group? The, all the animals and especially the gecko did a great plan, right? I hope you enjoyed this story with me. Thank you. Difficult words. Shy, nervous or timid in the company of others. Seek, attempt to find. Obvious, plain to see, easily seen. Genius, very clever. Try these. Which character do you like in this story and why? Share any incident where you have helped your friend or your friend helped you. Thank you.